Howdy folks, it's maiden time for the Reptile Harrier S1100 wing twin motor stabiliser built for FPV cruising I guess and a bit of speed I've got a dummy weight on the top here because I'm going to put my Mobius camera on there uh, CG I have at about it says 285 in the manual but uh, our friend Matt Ogborn said it needs to go back a fair bit further than that I've got it back about 290 at the moment and that is using a 3003S I have a current sensor there so I can keep a track of current draw and uh, voltage things I'm concerned about the control horns I hope they don't pull out the servos are very lightweight little 9 gram servos uh, they'll last for a little while but not forever I'll change them for metal gears eventually motor mounts well they'll be fine for a while but I'm not real happy about them a little bit of wind maybe 5 to 10 knots not too bad at all I have a few different batteries that I can try with it, a 3003S, 3004S, 5003S uh, and we'll see how the CG works out with all of them. Plug the battery and let it sit still for a couple of seconds. And do that little wiggle thing there to show that the stabiliser has been initialised. Now, you must convince yourself that it's stabilising in the correct direction. Do our normal high five test. That's all working well. But you must convince yourself that when you tilt the back up, the control surfaces go up, which they're doing. When you tilt the wing up, the control surface goes up as well to compensate. When it goes down, it should go down. So that's all working okay. If you don't get that right, the plane is going to fly for about five seconds before it spirals into the ground. Make sure you tighten your prop nuts. They're the first thing that's going to fail. <laughs> uh, make sure you tighten your push rod connections little bit of reflex preset. I'm going to start in manual mode because I don't trust stabilizers at all to start off with. Launch into the wind with a sidearm launch then try stabilizers up in the air. It's going okay, it's a bit wobbly, oh it's a bit nose down. There we go. Flying I'm down on a quarter throttle or so. Whoops, what did I switch? Nothing. Bring it back. Trim it up a little bit further so I'm a bit nose heavy. Now we're flying just perfectly. That's purring around beautifully. On a third throttle, on this is the 3003S. So it uses a fair bit of current, but it's nice and quiet, flying very nicely indeed. There's 5 amps, cruising around on probably minimum speed. Bit of wobble going downwind. I like it. That looks very cool in the air. Bit of speed now. Nice axial roll, coming down for a glide. I need to put a camera on it. Woohoo! That's cool. My rates are up fairly high, but they're no, I settled into them, they're good. Alright, I'll bring it in and put a camera on. Whoa, oh, what a bounce. That's cool. So it's going to be fast, that's only on 3S, 3003S. I do have a lot of reflex, look at that, that's about yeah, a centimetre of reflex. So I'm going to move the CG back, put a camera on and try again. So I've slid the battery back, uh, that's moved the CG back to about 300 I think, which is uh, just about 5 behind that um, kink in the join. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully we can take out a little bit of reflex. Yeah, so I've taken the reflex out. 
to keep the speed up. So that's going pretty well. We're waggling a little bit. Should try some stabilisation, I guess, shouldn't I? So that's stabilised now. That's going nose up a fair bit. That feels nice. That stabilised mode just holds it. Yeah, I like the feel of that stabilisation. I don't know what the two different stabilisation modes do yet. So it'll fly around, cruise around on about 10 amps, which is a fair bit really. Built for speed, I should see. Full speed run. How many amps? 34.8 amps. Ooh, that's going to warm the batteries up. Well, it's got some grunt. This is on 3S. Do another fast run. Battery sagging a bit. <laughs> Alright, time to land. Try 4S maybe. Still have quite a bit of reflex. That's interesting. I don't really want to go back further. It's starting to get a little bit squirrely. Looks like we just have to fly it with that amount of reflex. Here we go on 4S. Oh. Hello. Got dog dog walkers everywhere, I'll have to avoid them. I'll come back here. So we're on forest now. Runs on less current, which is good. This might be the battery for it. And it's got some speed. Better be careful while people are walking around me. Nice for the stabilisation. Woohoo! It's gone. Got to get a GPS on this thing. So it's flying very nicely on 4S, I like this. Nice big loop. It's all going very well. Alright, what do I think of it? Well, it flies beautifully. Really smooth, really powerful and fast. Sounds good with the twin motors, sort of droning away. Plenty of speed on, on 3S or 4S. I just like the 4S because it's drawing less current, I guess. Plenty of control in manual and stabilised. Whoops. Stabilisation actually works very nicely indeed. It'll be fun for fa fast blasting around on FPV. Not so much a cruiser because it's not, it sucks a fair bit of power, but um, I'd really like to put some better quality servos in just because uh, something this big and heavy and going fast really needs decent servos, I think. Gliding in now. Got a nice glide. Nice landing. That was good. Yeah, good fun. So, I've still got a bit of flying time left on it. This is the Reptile Harrier S1100 wing from Banggood. Plug and play version. Motor and prop combo look works really well. It's fast, very, very smooth, really nice with the stabiliser, which is interesting. I'm usually not a big fan of stabilisers, but this just works nicely. Just sort of smooths it out uh, without taking too much control away from you. Apart from the motor mounts, which I can improve myself, the control horns and the ESC covers, um, 
everything else is really nice. <laughs> I like it very much indeed. Thanks for watching. I'm going flying.